Today we are going to discuss about map man mapping of the earth. So here today we will study about how we are mapping the whole of the earth. So what is map? Map it is a representation of something, some features of the earth, star, solar system, any building, anything on a, a smaller scale. What are the different uses of the map? To determine where we are going to act as a model of Earth's surface, used to locate various places on the Earth to show the distribution of various features and resources of the Earth. There are two features of the Earth which are used for mapping any location on the Earth. They are latitude and longitude. Latitudes measure in degrees north and south of the equator. Latitudes are lines drawn parallel to each other running west to east. On the, it, these are imaginary lines drawn on the surface of the earth for the convenient of measuring distances and locating places on the earth. So you will find that latitudes are parallel lines. And the equator will be the largest latitude. Then there are longitudes. Longitudes are measured in degree from east or west of the prime meridian. Prime meridian is called zero degree or main longitude. These lines are drawn running north and south. You will find that all of the longitudes will be equal in size. You will find that all the longitudes they will have wider distance at the equator and uh, they will go on merging at the North Pole and South Pole. So topography. The topography is the layout of the land. It shows relief features using contour lines. Relief features high may be high or low on the Earth's surface. Relief features can be calculated through the use of contour lines. Take the difference between the highest point and the lowest point. For example, mountain peak will be 20 meter, lake 10 meter, then 20 minus 10, it will be 10 meter height. The relief of this area is 10 meter. Reading of a topographic map or contour lines is very important in our understanding how we can understand the features of the earth on the map. Contours line are lines on the topographic maps. Contour lines connect points of equal elevation on the surface of the earth. Everything connected to that line has the same elevation. Elevation, the distance something is above sea level, like sea level is counted at 0 meter or 0 feet. So contour intervals gives the difference in the elevation between two contour lines. Another indicator of the height Shown on the map is CI, used to count contour lines. So seeing the contours, we can say how, they, how a place is having elevation or whether it is a flat or whether it has depression. A road will have equal elevation almost. So it will show a flat equal contour lines.
A index contour is a contour line that is accentuated in a thickness and is leveled with the appropriate measure of elevation. Index contours occur every fifth contour line. So you will find that in a topographic map contours line there will be index contours which will indicate the height. They will have the numbering. It helps map user read elevation on the map more easily. So if we want to locate streams on the map, the direction of streams is a flowing is shown on a topographic map by the way a contour line crosses the stream. Streams are shown as a blue line on map. When contour lines cross a stream, it looks like an upside down V-shaped. You will find that it will have V-shaped. The point in the V-shaped of a stream, it opens in the direction the water is flowing. So if we want to locate the depression or the water bodies or low-lying areas, then depression contour shows areas of lower elevation drawn like contours line with marks on the inside. HO marks, tick marks are inside of the closed circle. So you will find that a small mark will be drawn on the contour lines to indicate the depression. You will find that you will also find that in the depression or in elevation contour, you will find that the contours line will be in more or less in a circular manner. Hills are represented on topographic map by a series of concentric contour lines in a rough circle. So if we want to locate the slope on the topographic map, you will find that contours are closely spaced. Closely spaced contours line represent steep slopes. Wide spaced contour line represent gentle slope. So if the contour lines are widely distributed, then you will find that the place is more or less a plain area but if there is closely spaced contour lines then you will find that either it will be a elevation or it will be depression place benchmarks benchmark is a place where exact elevation is known shown by bm on the map So after a calculation on the earth, you will find that uh, government has placed some maps, some locations where the sea level has been indicated. These places are called benchmarks. Colors. There are different colors in the topographic maps also. The color on a topographic map are symbolic of different map features. Like blue lines will denote water, green will denote forest, brown will denote contour lines, black will denote cultural features like building, place names, boundary lines, roads, etc. Red lines will indicate principal roads, pink will indicate urban areas. Purple will indicate revision to an older map compiled from aerial photograph. If an area has become urbanized, this may be shown as a purple setting on the new revised map. So you will find that there are different colors used in the topographic map as well. So there are a scale of the map. Map scale indicate your distance along the ground or the amount of the ground covered by the map. 
USGS United States Geological Survey they take the ratio of 1 is to 24,000 one unit on the map is equal to 24,000 unit of the same size on the ground for example one inch on the map will be equal to 24,000 inch on the earth or after converting one inch is equal to 2000 feet bar scale indicated by the line or bar with distance marked in the mile feet or kilometer so we will also find that bar scale is more appropriate for the map because if we reprint the map on different scale then the bar will also get reduced or enlarged according to the scale of the map so it is a better representation of the map so you can see in this example the different colors used in the map like the pink will denote the urban areas green will denote the forest areas black will denote roads earth features buildings and purple will denote converted areas which are modified by after the new plans so the topographic map profile a topographic profile is a cross-sectional view along a line drawn through a portion of a topographic map it is like taking a slice out of the portion of the earth and looking at it from the side so if we take a profile of a place then we will be able to see the different elevation of the area thank you thank you for discussion